lecture now. Today we continue with chapter 3, electrical current and direct current circuit. So in this video, we continue with 3.9 potential meter. Example 15. A potential meter consists of uniform wire with a length of 100 cm and resistor of 5 ohm connected series with 2 ohm resistor and the driver cell of EMF 3 volt and internal resistor of 2 ohm. Okay, when the potential meter is used to measure the EMF of the cell E1, okay, the balance length is 75 cm. Okay, so from here, we actually we can divide it into two loop. Okay, loop one and also loop two. Okay, so we want to find the EMF of the cell, meaning that we want to find E1. Okay, so for this type of questions, we can actually we can use the relationship right, between V directly proportional to R directly proportional to length. Okay, so it depends on what the information we have here. So the question already mentioned here, when the length is 100 cm, the resistor is equal to 5 ohm. Okay, so meaning that from X to Y here is 100 cm. Okay, so 100 cm here is actually equals to 5 ohm. Okay, so if let's say 75 cm here, 75 cm is actually equal to how many ohm? Okay, what is the resistance? So we can use the relationship between, okay, we can use the relationship between R and also L. Okay, because we know that 100 cm is 5 ohm. So 75 cm is equal to how many resistance? So we can use R1 over R2 equals to L1 over L2. Okay, so 100 over 75 equals to 5 over R. Okay, then for R, for uh, XJ, okay, is equals to 3.75 ohm. Okay, so we know that uh, the resistor for XJ is 3.75 ohm. Okay, after that, we can do comparison between, okay, so we can use the potential uh, divider to find the value for uh, e uh, EMF1, okay, EMF1. Okay, so I draw again. So we notice that from uh, X to Y, X to Y here, X to Y is uh, 100 cm and 100 cm is equal to, okay, is equal to 5 ohm. Okay, whereas here 75 cm is actually equal to 3.75 ohm. Okay, so when you want to do comparison, okay, you want to find out the EMF1, of course we must use V is directly proportional to R. Okay, we cannot V, we cannot use V directly proportional to L because here we have another two resistors here. Okay, so we cannot use resistor and length to compare. We must use R same value. Okay, so now V. 1 over V2 equals to R1 over R2. Okay, so V1 is the upper loop where V1 here we have uh, 3 volt. So I substitute 3. V2 is the unknown. Okay, R1 here is the resistor inside the loop 1. Huh? So we have 2 ohm plus 2 ohm plus 5 ohm. Okay, so it's 2 plus 2 plus 5. Huh? Even though XY also is a resistor because actually this wire is the one kind of the resistor okay so it's one of the resistors so we must also consider the 5 ohm wire okay and then r2 is the the um second loop well, where second loop 75 cm wire actually is equal to 3.75 ohm of uh, resistance so therefore our emf1 the value that we will get here is equal to 1.25 volt okay so this is example 15 Okay, next we go to the last questions for this chapter, example 16. Okay, so example 16 here, we have uh, EMF1, where EMF1 here is equal to 2 volt. Okay, and its internal resistor is negligible. Okay, so we can neglect the internal resistor. The length of the wire AB here is equal to 100 cm. Okay, so 100 cm here. Okay, when the switch is open, okay, when the switch is open, meaning that here is not connected, the balance length of AJ is 75 okay so when the switch is open the length here is only 75 cm okay so when the switch is open meaning that what we measure actually we are measuring EMF okay so I can draw like this when the switch is open meaning that here okay we only connect with the okay we only connect with the EMF2 okay so this is EMF1 where it's equal to 2 volt okay and this is 100 cm this is 75 cm so for question number one okay or a we can use the ratios between v directly proportional to l okay so v1 over v2 equals to l1 over l2 where v1 is 2 volt v2 is the value emf that we don't know l1 is 100 l2 is 75 okay therefore emf2 we will get 
1.5 volt. Okay, so this is the value uh, because uh, the connection okay, here is not complete. Uh, so meaning that there is no current flowing through this circuit okay, because the switch is open. Okay, next, continue. Okay, when the switch is closed, now the switch is closed. Okay, when the switch is closed, the balance only 65 cm. Okay, why 65 cm? Okay, because if you refer here, okay, if you refer here, when the switch is closed here, switch is closed, okay, meaning that the current will flow through the 4 ohm resistor and then it will go through the battery. Okay, so actually, initially, the battery that is a internal resistor. Okay, but internal resistor here, okay, internal resistor here, because there is no current flow through, okay, there is no current flowing through the internal resistor, therefore, we can ignore the internal resistor. So, what we mentioned here is actually E and F. Okay, meaning that the total energy inside the battery, the total potential inside the battery is 1.5. Okay, but when the switch is closed, so when the switch is closed, actually the current is flowing through the internal resistor. Okay, so when the, when the current is flowing through the internal resistor, meaning that the energy will dissipate inside the battery. Okay, therefore, the value that we get, okay, is actually uh, smaller. Okay, so we can try to solve it. Okay, so first one, you must refer here. Okay, now the battery no longer 65 and 75. Okay, now already changed to 65. Okay, so now we do comparison between the upper low of loop 1 with loop 2 first. Okay, so loop 1 is uh, 2, loop 2 is the value that you want to find. Okay, the length here is 100, length and the second loop is only 65. Therefore, V2 that we get here is 1.3 loop. Okay, so if you compare with just now, the value that we get is 1.5. Okay, now we only get 1.3. Okay, meaning that 1.3 is the V external. Okay, when is 0.2? 0.2 actually it already dissipated inside the resistor, okay, inside the internal resistor. Okay, so we know that our EMF is equal to V internal plus V external. When EMF initially, when there's no current, the value of the pressure is 1.5. Okay, after that, when we connect, okay, when the switch is closed, the current is flowing through the internal resistor, okay, the value that we get okay, is only 1.3. So meaning that V internal is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, this is already lost inside. Is equal to 0 0.615 ohm. 